Hey guys, have you ever brought your Android around and just wanted to get a file to or from the device but didn't have the same cable? Well, I'm going to show you guys a way on how you can sync your files without the cable using only a laptop and a wireless network. So we first have to set up an SSH server on our Android. For those of you who are unfamiliar with SSH, it stands for Secure Shell and it is a secure network protocol that lets two devices connect to each other over a network. We want to be able to use our computer to connect to the file system of our device. So you can find an SSH server app by heading to the Play Store and searching for SSH server. There are many apps that will work but I'm going to show you how to set up an SSH server using SSH Server by Icecold Apps. Once you've installed the app, go ahead and start it up. Click on the Add button at the top and select SSH Server. Go ahead and give your server a meaningful name. It doesn't really matter what you name it, as this name is only for your reference when you use this app. Make sure that the port is large though, it has to be a large random number to avoid conflicts with any other apps that are using the same ports. Now hit the Users tab and add a new user. It's a good idea to restrict user access to your device so that strangers don't do nasty things on your file system. Enter a username and password that you'll remember now. And when you're done, hit the back button twice and save your settings. Now click on your new SSH server and hit start. Now to connect to our device, we also have to record its IP address on the network. You can find the IP by clicking on the info button in the application's toolbar. On a piece of paper, write down the Wi-Fi IP or keep this window open when we go on to our next step. On our computer now, once you have an SSH client installed, such as WinSCP, open it up and enter the Wi-Fi IP address into the hostname. Remember to adjust the port number to the number that you set on your device. Fill in the username and password that you set earlier. Go ahead and attempt to connect to your device. You may get a warning when connecting to your device, which you can bypass by choosing yes. If you can see the file system in WinSCP, then you have successfully connected to your device wirelessly. You can easily drag and drop files onto your device or from your device back to your computer. For example, let's say I want to transfer a song off my device. I simply navigate to the proper file location and drag it off into my computer's music folder. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below.